Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Core Devourer. Um, I'm told it's uh, very much a survivors-like horde shooter-esque thing. Um, twin stick and sort of top-down kind of seals the deal for me. I, li I love these sorts of games. This is great. Um, considering this is a new game tonight, I tried to dial in the audio as best I could. If it does get a little bit loud, we'll, we'll adjust as we go. And also, since it's a new game, of course, the primary rules. No spoilers, no backseating, please. I want to experience this game as we go through it, fresh as it is my first time playing this. But, uh, looks like there's a lot of stuff that we will be unlocking and or progressing through. Um, so let's just start playing. Let's start playing the damn thing. Um... Okay, looks like we're starting on Scarlet Nightfall. That's probably the level, huh? Starting with the energy rifle, and oh, look at all that. That's locked. Shit's locked. All right, let's play. I, I imagine it'll run us through a, a quick tutorial as if it's our first time holding a controller, but that's fine. No, it's fine. Analog stick, control your gun, control to move your character. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's definitely fun stick. Uh, I trigger to fire bullets. Okay, yeah, we kind of figured that out already. Oh, looks like we've got a dash thing, too. I'm sure it'll tell us about that relatively soon. We've got ten rounds before it auto-reloads for us. That's nice. Uh, right bumper, special attack. Okay, what's our special? Oh, it's like a little tiny spread. Huh, that's fun. Oh, it does look like there's a visual indicator next to our crosshair, then when it's ready. Uh, left trigger to perform a quick dash. You are invulnerable while you're dashing, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a really short-range dash. <laughs> uh, presumably that maybe gets better as we get upgrades and stuff. Uh, let's uh, collect your quarter and experience. Since you've gathered enough, you'll just select the power-up. Yeah, okay, so you know, pretty standard stuff, right? Pretty standard stuff. Destroy enemies, get XP, power up, etc. Might get some pretty good builds going. We'll have to determine what builds are good and or not good, I suppose. Um, crystal Sphere sends a Crystal Sphere that moves around your position and deals 200% damage. And we gain 11% move speed, apparently. Uh, release an electric field every 12 seconds. He's going through to take 20% damage for one second with 5% move speed bonus. Or, Frostfire again. 20% chance to fire freezing bullets. Freeze enemies for two seconds. Whereas enemies hit by a bullet take an additional 80% damage. And an extra 10% bonus to damage. Uh, you know, let's start with the Epic Crystals. Here I go. Why not? Oh, that must be it right there. <laughs> hey, game over. How you doing? Let's see it. I imagine most of these runs are gonna start relatively slowly. We're not under any real severe pressure here. Um, no marker on a random for every six seconds if the enemy is hit. Marker explodes, dealing 80% damage. Crossfire we already know about. And increases the size of the- okay, so this is the upgrade for the thing we already took. You know what? Why not? Whoa! Yeah, that got a lot bigger. Alright, that's- that's fine. Source of damage output, right? Yeah, it's, it's very survivors-like, it feels, right? Horde shooter, except uh, this one we have you know, direct control over what we're firing, at least for now, uh, except for the little crystal thing. Okay, a bunch of common stuff then. Uh, rotating shield protects from bullets. Uh, any bullets that pass through of ours gain 35% damage, that's pretty cool. Some crystal spikes from the ground every two seconds that deal 200% damage, plus another damage boost there. Uh, bullets that hit enemies or obstacles release like electricity hit nearby enemies. Oh, that's pretty neat, actually. I like that. Chain lightning. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that! Very chain lightning. Okay, it does... Give us a little tiny audio cue when our uh, little spread special is ready. I like that. 
Ooh, extra bullets. I like extra bullet, but reduce damage by each individual bullet by 25%. I guess that does make sense. Uh, this Necro behind after dashing. After one second, Necro returns to the player, returning 100% damage. Okay, okay, 100% damage. Increase damage and fire rate by 30% when you get hit for 60 seconds. Well, we're never going to get hit, so that's not worth it. <laughs> Let's take the extra bullet. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we're shooting two instead of one. I do it. I like the very clean aesthetic of this, and that it's not too busy. Not like overwhelming with uh, visual noise or anything like that. At least yet. <laughs> it's, it's the very start of the game, so I imagine that things are not, not as dense as they will be. Um, burning bullets. Uh, bullets burn enemies, dealing damage over time. Nice. Okay. Uh, every four killed enemies calls down lightning. I like that. Shooting your last round, shoots explosives in a circular pattern. All right, let's do more lightning, I guess. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's kind of neat. Just pick some random target. Oh, we got a glowy one. I wonder what that glowing enemy was. He didn't survive for very long. Is it special? Maybe it's like a proximity exploder or something. So we can science it out a bit, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, nothing terribly threatening still. Ooh, bursting shot. Every time you kill an enemy, it explodes into three smaller bullets, so exploding corpses, more or less. And it automatically collects experience and deals damage whenever it hits an enemy. That's pretty cool. Berserk mode of every 40 kills for five seconds. Deal area damage to nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's do bursting shot. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. A little crowd control, right? Lightning blast. 20% chance for bullets to call down lightning after hitting an enemy. Just straight up. That's nice. Poison bullets. Bullets get poisoned. That's pretty cool. Or dual sphere. Oh yeah, dual sphere. There we go. <laughs> Look at those big boys. Excellent. Uh, collect energy defeated by defeating enemies. Use it to upgrade your character and kill us by killing special enemies. Exploring the map. Use it to unlock upgrades. Okay, so there's some of the rogue light with a T features, right? Improve over time, unlock different stuff. I guess we haven't really been moving around the map too much, have we? Take a look around. Maybe there's fun stuff around here somewhere. Okay, revenge we already read about. Extra homing. Extra bullet is and homing bullets. <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, that's... Oh, well. I don't get to control what it targets. That's unfortunate. Oh, I see. There's like a little extra special crystal to live off there. Oh. Um, can we interact with certain map elements here? Oh! Secret monolith. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a little boss thing. Oh, it's got a little. Well, it's a real big, thick laser there, but also not uh, not terribly hard to avoid. That gives you a, a pretty good lead up. Uh, even hey, a hero that points you towards a healing chest to stir the chest to heal yourself. We got hit. Oh, I guess we did get hit at some point. Guess we did flash red for the hottest of seconds there. Oh, I see. And there's the... Uh, must be the thing which has the heart on it. There we go, okay. So, three discrete HP, it seems. Space Debris falls from the sky every seven seconds, dealing 200% damage. Enemy with electricity has 80% chance to chain to nearby enemies. I kind of like that, but no, let's go Space Debris. More random... Oopsie. That's right. More random stuff. Happen every so often, right? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> the big old space rock. There we go, we got it. 
Collect Mithril by defeating strong bosses. Use it for important upgrades. Oh boy. Important upgrades, you say. Cool, we got one Mithril. It's a very sci-fi rock, I guess. <laughs> Circular shot, every six shots, fire six bolts in a circle. Uh, I guess it's named. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Mm, yeah, okay. Exactly as it says on the tin, right? I wonder if those falling rocks can hurt me. Maybe we don't need to science that out. This feels like it's pretty obvious, right? Um, crystal spikes to the ground. Uh, shoot six bolts in the circular pattern. On last shot. Every time you hit an enemy without missing, you get a precision stack. Up max up to eight for each stack. You get six damage. Okay. Be accurate then, huh? I wonder if our little homing shots count. Oh, hey, look at that fucker. Oops, we missed. Bigger boy, but he went down like a chump, so big deal there. Uh, every dash fires four bullets. Each stack you get 3% fire rate for our precision thing. Uh, or a rotating shield. Let's take a rotating shield. I if we're limited to uh, how many different upgrades we can get. At least in Vampire Survivors, that was what, like six by default, right? See if there's like a... okay there it does show us all our power-ups but no indication of a limit shield expansion shield gets bigger uh bullets get one piercing i like that yeah give it's kind of handy it's kind of handy when you're uh Basic weapon has piercing on it. Oh, we're actually kind of damaged here. Oh, yes. Whoops. <laughs> Honk. We died. Da, da, da. I have sufficient energy to purchase augmentations. Okay, sure. Have a look at what we can do. Oh, let's see. All right. Oh, it'd be easier to use the mouse on this menu. Uh, okay, increased damage. Straight up damage boost. Decrease reload time, increase bullet range, movement speed, pickup range. I do like me some pickup range. Yoink. There's an overload thing here, too. Unleash the full potential by activating overload mode, available after reaching maximum level. Oh, I see. We can upgrade it four different times. That's fun. But perhaps uh, a balanced approach would probably work pretty well here. Uh, heals 1 HP every 10 levels. It's not bad. Bullet range, reload time, on a collected energy by 5%. Oh, we could go with one of the orange things. Oh, those are catalysts. Yeah, sure. We'll use that one. Only had one orange, though. Anything else cost just normal stuff that we have enough for? No. We spread it around. Okay. Pretty cool. Um, oh, we do have a different core. Oh, we gotta unlock it for three catalysts. Boo! Ah, that's fine. And then I guess this is where we use our, our white mithril stuff too. Okay. Well, that's fine. Jump back in. New run. New run, slightly more powerful. Maybe fuck around a bit less. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. We're doing the uh, Higher base damage than 60 from before. I guess that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Alright, here's this way. Some of the nearby dark matter orb. Every five seconds, if hit by a bullet, it explodes and deal area damage. Nice. Okay, sure. Oh, two levels up. Nice. Uh, yeah, give me the, uh, that extra bullet. Three level <laughs> simulator drone. Sure. Oh my god. Uh, uh, bigger minion. 
Four levels straight out the gate. Alright, uh, extra piercing? Yeah, sure. Oh, three extra piercing. Damn. I'm into it. Hey, Kenny, how you doing? Let's see ya. <laughs> Are you salt android cactus survivors? I mean, yeah, it's, it's very survivors like, right? Horde shooter. A cleaner aesthetic than most, I will I will say, just on visuals alone. It's not absolute fucking visual barf everywhere. So I can appreciate that for sure. Uh, simulation efficiency. And experience collected by the minion has 115% value. Oh, hell yeah. Let our minion do the work. Though. Get more for... More for our money. Or not money, whatever. Course. Course. Oh, there's a bigger spider in that group there. Kind of vaporized, though. 20% uh, chance for freezing bullets? Sure. Yeah, look at that. It's very frozen. Wizard of Legend 2. Oh, did I ever play the original one? I don't think I ever did. I think it was... It was probably on my list at some point, or I forgot to write it down. In fact, you might have been the one that told me about it, Kenny. I'll have to remember to actually put that on my list. Poison bullets. All right, let's stack the quote-unquote elementals, I suppose, here, huh? Oh, I see. We don't need to hit the center of the of the little dark matter thing. We just need to get it in the ring. That's pretty generous. <laughs> got a hell of an EOE to it. I think that dude was outside the range of it and still got bombed, which is fun and cool. Alright, last shot is the circle bullets. Uh, let's try Nova Marker. Something, something. Whoa, damn. Yeah, that thing blew up good. Like the Nova Marker. Boom! Small AoE to it. Uh, no extension extends the range of the explosion. Dark Matter Orbs deal area damage? Hell yeah. Okay. Just by virtue of being there? I'm into that. Every six shots fire a poison bomb. Area poison. Every four shots fire a piercing freezing bullet. Oh, or the uh, aubergine upgrade. 80% chance of summoning two dark matter orbs and more singularities. Yeah, gimme. Fucking gimme. And we popped the Chivo for something that went away too quick for me to read it. That's fine. Oh, looks like we got a boss ish thing here. Seem terribly threatening. Oh, oh, big boy though. So I get to remember that we've got a dash that I could probably use if things get a little dicey. Oh, like there. If I weren't already like on the outside of that ring. Uh, every dash releases a poison puddle. Calm. Okay. Oh, let's go poison bomb. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's dead. All right. <laughs> that doesn't hurt me, does it? No, nope. we are immune to our own poison bombs. That's nice. Not boxing ourselves out of areas. Ooh, dual Nova. Two Nova markers, huh? I'm into that. Or 
basic bit shot is a little faster firing too. I imagine that was one of the kind of ancillary upgrades to one of the things we grabbed. Oh, another bigger sucker, huh? Come here. Come here, buddy. Uh, electric field every 12 seconds, and he's walking through it, take 20% damage every second. Every time he, yeah, okay, precision was kind of nice, but oh, let's go electric field. Oh, yeah, look at that sucker. It's a big ol' electric field, huh? That also doesn't damage me, which is good. Okay, this is a blast disc every six seconds. If hit, it deals 160 damage in cone-shaped area. Every time you kill. Okay, no, I like the the explodey corpses. <laughs> this is essentially what it is, right? Oh, ouch! Exactly, pop out of nowhere, but he was still alive, which was unfortunate. Uh, last shot, rear shot, every three shots, fire one bullet behind. Oh, very, we have Risk of Rain 2 at home demo of a game called Warden's Will. I have heard of that one. I haven't seen any of it, though. Uh... Yeah, a little bit of ass coverage here is probably good. Even the slightly larger enemies are not terribly threatening, are they? Oh, it's the tiny ones I gotta work out. Uh, piercing rear shot. Extra bullet gains three piercing. Burst bullets get one piercing. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, three piercing sounds better, huh? Also, I should be looking out for, like, heals and shit, huh? Uh, both hit enemies or obstacles release electricity to hit nearby enemies. Okay, I like the chain lightning. I do like that. Uh, yeah, chain lightning. <laughs> Since the groups are getting larger and thicker. What did I get bopped by there? Was there a tiny dude that I just kind of skated right over? Alright, uh... Did okay there. Back to menu. Spend all our earned goods. Uh, I don't have any... Like, I don't have a lot of the good ones, but... Uh, let's see. Ah, that takes two? Alright, what was this one? Uh, amount of it collected experience. Yeah, absolutely give. Plus we can upgrade it as well. Uh, number of component slots? I don't... Have we maxed out component slots? I don't know what counts as a component slot. But yeah, alright, unlock that shit. Why not? Uh, that's expensive, that's expensive. Um, more XP though. 10% boost now. Ooh. And more pickup range, sure. Um, we still can't... Alright, we need three. Three orange currency to unlock the plasma shoddy, huh? Okay, fine, whatever. Um, complete the level to unlock the university protocol. Okay, so increase difficulty to get more rewards, essentially, right? And we still haven't completed the level, huh? What constitutes completing the level? I guess we're only 47% through. Alright. No matter. Now we've got an XP boost and something else, I think. Should be exploring more of the map. Do we get like an actual map we can pull up? No, apparently not. It's just kind of like a uh, we'll look around idiot type thing, I suppose. Uh, okay, poison bullet, pretty easy grab. 
40% chance is nothing to sniff at. I did like the poison bombs. And the ice bullets were okay too, I guess. That's ah, bombs. It's kind of low DPS, but you know, chip damage and stuff that's approaching is probably fine. Common stuff. I did like the crystal spear from before, but I also do like the exploding corpses. Probably better than that. So. Again, chip damage, but you know, adds up. This is supposedly an auto fire on this. Oh, that's like kind of like the auto targeting. I see. You know, I kind of like that, and I kind of like that it's uh. Toggleable on and off, very uh, Picayune dreamsy for when you can't be arsed to aim yourself, really. Um, chain lightning. Yeah, chain lightning, please. Legendary. Uh, I mean, it's legendary in so much as it gives me 16% extra move speed, I guess, right? Guess I can't say no to a, a legendary upgrade. Well, yeah, that is pretty noticeable, isn't it? What we got there? Oh, it's a health thing. I didn't even need it. <laughs> Bulletsus or burning bullets? Yeah, let's go burning bullets first, huh? Yeah, that's that's a burning bullet, all right. It does what it says on the tin. That's important. Truth in advertising, etc. Uh, legendary interception. Bullets hit and destroy enemy bullets. Ooh. Plus a uh, 16% reduction in reload time. All right. I'm into it. Of these dudes are shooting actual bullets themselves, but I imagine that will be important later. I did like dark matter, honestly. Just having a little extra AoE thing we can pop at will. Cone Blast. That's one we didn't pick before, right? Uh, or Vengeful Spirit. Whenever you, whenever you take damage, permanently increase damage by 10%. It's a bold strategy. Now let's do Cone Blast. Oh. Picked up one of those multi-level things. Uh, a minion shield? Sure. Oh, I see. <laughs> I mean, it got hit pretty good right away, but if it comes back every four seconds, I ain't gonna... Ain't gonna complain. Very slight amount of protection, right? 
Uh, normal bullets get one piercing. This is the time needed to release a blastic disc to four seconds. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, that's what that little uh, other thing is, I guess. Oh, look at you. Being all fancy. Small AoE there, wow, very threatening. But we did, we, we got him. He's murdered. Okay, Dark Energy, which means uh, area damage, alright, plus the extra fire rate, which is, you know, 7% is not bad. Oh, that's our little, right, that's our little cone shooter thing. I thought that was the rotating minion what was what which was protecting me but that's clearly the option circling me closer in there uh bullets hit and deflect enemy bullets that's kind of cool uh crystal spikes let's try crystal spikes instead I don't know what that does oh yeah look at that all right what did that say every four seconds or something shit that looks pretty good Power crystals increases the range or the electric field. I like the electric field too. Let's get some more shit on the field here. That big dude died, didn't he? Where'd he go? Piercing Inferno. Every six sec six shots. Fire an extra piercing burning bullets. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Give. Oh yeah, look at that. That looked a little flamey there. Visually distinct, which is good. Crystal Sphere plus an 11% move speed bonus. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I see, we have little objectives on the right there, too. 12, kill 1200 little tiny dudes. I think we could do that. Ooh, a bunch of rare stuff. Uh, fire rate, 7%. Uh, yeah, give him piercing bullets. That seems good, too. Now we're cooking with gas. You have to see too many of the orange currency bits, though. We got one. We got one from a mysterious source. I don't remember getting that one. <laughs> but apparently we did. Maybe that was like a boss kill thing. Uh, take the increase from permanently 10%. Uh, yeah, sure, okay, fine. getting a little harder to follow my crosshair here, but the beauty of this being twin stick on a controller is that I don't strictly need the crosshair to know where I'm firing. But I think I did see options to change the crosshair color and all that, so maybe we take a quick peek at that after this run. Make it a little brighter or more stand out from the present color scheme. Got a boss? Oh yeah, there he is. Hello. Is the 
seem all that threatening. Oh no, he does a little very telegraphed dash. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, I, I, I like it when they telegraph attacks. Like, don't make it an extreme surprise as far as what's happening. Alright, he's toast. Uh, rear shot was kind of fun. Reduce the time to summon crystal spikes, sure. Oh wow, yeah, those are popping off every couple seconds now. Does that follow my current line of aim there? No, I guess it goes towards the nearest dude. proportion of active threats now. Bigger dudes than the dudes which are summoning the orange laser bits. Two blast discs simultaneously? Yeah, sure. Primary fire range is a little lackluster, but I know that's one of the things that can be powered up a bit with our other pickups, right? Blazing electricity. Enemies hit by electricity have 40% chance of being stunned. Yeah, alright. That's good. That's what electricity should do, right? Ow! Oh, okay, kind of step myself into that one, I guess. Hmm, increases the size of the crystal sphere? Do we have a crystal sphere? Oh, we do, yeah. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. That's right. It becomes a real big boy then. Yeah, all right. Now we're talking. All right. So it's one of the bosses we had faced in a previous run. It seemed to be a terribly large threat, considering. Oh, there we go. We unlocked three additional achievos plus a fourth one. I guess that was the completion of the level. All right, very good. Ah, I see. So three bosses is, is the level. Plus we get a whole bunch of extra stuff and, and what have you. So I'm into that. Uh, plus we can unlock that. Well, we could if we had three orange currency. Uh, but now we've got two white and a whole pile of blue there, so let's see, let's see what we can do here. Huh? Ah, two orange for that? Orange for either of these. Uh, reload time, bullet range. I was just complaining about bullet range, was I? Maybe upgrade that one more time. Additional XP boost there. 20% now. Ooh, fancy. Uh, ability to banish a power-up so it can't reappear. Rerolls as well? Or more component slots. I guess that's our, like, our primary upgrades, right? So I don't even know what the limit is. You know? That's probably fine. Let's upgrade that, sure. Uh, add one component slot that enhances the installed components level by two? Sure. I mean, does that cost something, or...? Oh, I see. So we either get, we either do the normal stuff, or we get two additional slots, or we get one slot that's like super powered. You know what? Let's go with that. I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't think anything else costs 300 blue. 
No, we're good. Stuck with what we got now. All right, components. Oh yeah, here. Oh, these are component slots. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Then let's go back to um, here. Let's charge that. Yeah, and then we get three. Well, we've only got two. <laughs> only got one selection of a component anyway, so uh, makes sense to do all that. So let's just do install that one, I guess. 12% dash cooldown. Okay. Well, minus 12% dash cooldown. Sure. Oh, we can get rid of it if we want. Or we can upgrade it. For 2,000. 2,000 blue, huh? That's a lot of blue. Ah, but now we can do either the... Uh... Did we not complete the level? Yeah, it says we did we just complete the level. Why is that not unlocked? Ah, whatever. We can do a different level, though. Uh, Frostbite Fortress, huh? Oh, boy. I do love snow. Whatever. Get a, get a new music track, at least. <laughs> and new ice spiders to deal with. <laughs> Which I'm not extremely excited about because I'm not really a big fan of spiders. I guess they're not spiders, they've only got six lights instead of eight. Uh, yeah, alright, sure. Space debris. Oh, that was a little, like, magnet power up thing to bring in all the. Oh, kaboom. Bring in all the XP things that are laying around. That does make sense. Um, straight up 10% damage, sure, yeah, tough. Plus, uh, I don't know, I didn't read what else that was. Can we mouse over it? Yeah, there we go. Every 40 kills. Every 40 kills for 5 seconds we deal area damage. Okay, very good. Uh, firing last shot, six circular bullets, reduce the time needed for space debris for five seconds. Okay. Oh, I'm into that. I think it was, what, seven seconds before? So, a two second improvement is pretty gosh dang good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and now we're berserked, so I guess we're dealing area damage. Did that also increase our fire rate or anything? No, I think it was just the area damage thing. Uh, yeah, simulator drone, I guess. Picks up XP for me or whatever, right? What's the deal? Oh, right. I said I was going to look at the, um, the crosshair stuff. Uh, here, oh, here we go. Crosshair size. Oh, interesting. That's a neat feature. Okay, well, we don't need it to be large. I just want it to be a different color. Oh, you can do full custom. That's great. Okay, well, what what would stand out? Like a nice bold yellow, probably? Yeah, something like that. Goldenrod, perhaps? Good feature. I like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Again, not that we strictly need it on account of the whole twin stick nature here, but nice to have. Good feature. Well thought out. Uh, it gets bigger each time it collects experience. Yeah, sure. All right. Let him do his stuff. Then. I don't want to back ourselves against a solid object there, though. Yeah, the little boys get a little bigger. A little bigger each time. Uh, rotating energy shield, or when a berserk get plus 15 movement speed. That's an energy shield thing. Alright, if we fire through it, things get more powerful, right? Well, that's moving pretty quick. He's 
Throwing pretty good there. Okay. Electric field plus movement speed. Sure. I do it. I'm paying attention probably less to the upgrades themselves and more to the, the like the core upgrades they give me for like move speed and fire rate and all that. It seems to be more important really. Uh, pick up range, all this is like basic bitch stuff. Uh, Explody corpses, never a bad choice. Floaty boy. Precision. You like precision. Precision and accuracy. Very important, right? Stacks up to eight, right? So. As long as we're not firing wildly, we won't really lose it. Orange boy is as big as he's gonna get. Fire bullets. Fire bullets, yes, please. Firing like mortars or something, I guess. <laughs> Not terribly threatening, of course, but uh, you know, good for him for trying. out the basics here we're not really in, under any severe threat are we two space debris and 14% damage all right then do it Bigger, yeah, sure. Okay. Slightly larger, <laughs> I guess. This smashy boy, really trying. He's really trying too hard, and now he's dead. The tiny trash mobs that get me. Uh, extra bullet? Yeah, sure. Plus one to bullet. Uh, I did like the, uh... I like both of those though. Movement speed and fire rate? Uh, no, let's do the crystal spikes. Piercing Inferno, sure. There, now we're talking. Now we're getting some serious output. Uh, 20% chance for lightning strikes? Yeah, absolutely. 
sounds like the weather earlier today. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. We got like maybe one rumble of thunder around these parts in the afternoon. I was like, oh, let's hope for a little bit more than that. Oh, I took another bit of damage there, didn't I? Poison? Sure. Hell yeah. Should it be like an arrow to little health bits on, on my screen, or was that just during the tutorial? <laughs> we have to find health, we have to earn it. It doesn't get handed to us, which I guess makes sense. Uh, bullets hit and destroy enemy bullets. I'm into that. So they're now starting to have bullets, I guess? starting to have bullets, are they? Ooh, homing rear shot. Extra bullet is a homing bullet. Alright. Did we have a rear shot? I don't remember picking up the rear shot. I guess we did. Yeah, look at that. It's intercepting his bullet output pretty good. Calls down lightning, dashing while inside electric field does not consume charges. That's interesting. I do like the Nova marker though. That always felt pretty good. Alright, now he's dead. Good job. Give him. Now it's back to destroying more of the basic bitch ass trash mobs here. Which, considering we're down to one health, it might be a, a bit of a problem, huh? Precision. Well, dashing deflect enemy bullets. That's pretty fun. Uh, but no, quick precision sounds fine. Is that what? Fire rate for every precision stack, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Considering how quickly we are... Oh! <laughs> and immediately eat shit. Alright, good. gonna say something snarky about how, to, how easy it was and then I take a dive so I guess I deserve that right uh, all right we've got three orange currency yeah give me the plasma shotgun thing Let's see what we can do here I guess we can unlock this then too three seconds after reloading bullets may deal critical damage 10% I'm into that uh, yeah, select did I select that I did select that Um, but I, I guess it's locked. Shit's locked. Can't do that. Hmm, it's not immediately clear why that's locked, but all right, whatever. Uh, so then we got 20, almost 26 hundo blue, huh? Mm, more damage, sure. More XP. Oh, that costs one white. Yeah, sure, why not? 35%? Excellent. Uh, or... We do 50% boost, but we lose 15% movement speed. That's a bit stodgy. I don't like that. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna collect the energy by that. Okay, sure. Upgrade that. Uh, more pickup range. More pickup range again. All right, that's maxed out. 65% chance to collect all the experience left on the ground whenever you get hit. Is that in? Instead of the 100% pickup range boost? Probably. So, let's 
let's leave that as is. Anything else that costs one white? Be efficient with our use of our stuff here? Eh. Oh, I see. And then here's all the, the level chivos and the power-ups and the everything else. Oh, I get it. So we can't upgrade the energy rifle thing until we probably max that out, right? Yep. Uh, that makes sense, I suppose, right? Yeah. Well, let's try the plasma shotgun. That sounds fun. Oh, and now we can do, like, the, the boosts to this. Just out of curiosity, let's max all these out and see what it says. So, 240% additional swarm, or up to base swarm, I guess. The hell's a quantum specter? I'm guessing that's the ghost or the in invincible thing that chases you forever or whatever. Uh, blast zone? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, an explosion occurs near your position every three seconds. Every one second. Every three seconds. Oh man. Every five seconds, every three seconds, or every or every half second. <laughs> or oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Uh, um, enemy health, enemy speed, or traps, I don't know what traps are. Uh, bosses have more health, so 300% boss health. Oh, and fewer choices on level ups, wow, okay. Interesting. A little bit Hades-like with the scrolls of whatever, or Fury or whatever the fuck it was called. I, I like that. I like that system. So I like this system too. Um, but let's complete the the ice area first before we start worrying about that stuff. So what is our primary attack now? Oh, so it's like a, a natural spread shot. I guess that tracks, right? Shotgun, but we only get four shots before it reloads, so. Careful with that, I guess. But I do kind of like that. It's a little bit better than like the basic bitch blue shooter we had before. Uh, let's take the epic one for the damage boost, really. Ice bullets, chance of ice, 20%. Fine with me. And what is it? Like, it takes plus 80% damage if they're frozen, right? That was the whole deal. Blizzard dash after dashing, or at least a blast of ice that freezes and deals 20% damage? Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't stop me from uh, running into them right after, though, apparently. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. I do like that. The radius on it is a bit tiny, but... Effective use of it could save me from taking a dumb bump. Uh, move speed plus 7%, sure. And whatever, I guess the electric field, right? That was the whole deal. What's our... Oh, okay. I didn't even see what our special was there. Is it like a, a grenade or something? Oh. Oh, I like that. Feels pretty good. Uh, Crystal Sphere is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Move speed, I guess, huh? Bonk. Oh, ouch. I do like as well. Anything that improves our explosive capability. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 
Yeah, just a bunch of normal stuff here. Crystal Sphere moves faster, sure. Do it up. Some adrenaline. Uh, increased by 15% chance, 35% total, the chance for bullets to call down lightning after hitting an enemy. Uh, yeah, sure. Additional lightning. But only from normal bullets, I, I think, right? That's what it seems like. Crowd control, lightning deal, area damage. Yeah, give. Hmm, burning bullets or sp I do like space debris. Random ass shit just falling from the sky and helping us out. It's not the like. white currency there. That's all I really wanted. And also to progress the level, I suppose. Uh, and Bucer, get 50% movement speed, increase the impact range of space debris. Yeah, alright. I don't think I know if uh, that hurts me or not. <laughs> Just we could science it out. And get to a point where that's uh, feasible, yeah. Uh, more bullets. Extend the range of no more uh, two space debris. I like that. This has to be in a, in a spot where I can get near it without endangering myself, since it's probably targeting enemies too. Uh, energy shield. Chivo for something there. Again, I couldn't read it. I really don't understand the proclivity of games to fucking do that. Like, yeah, let's pop this thing up for you to read whilst you're in the middle of doing shit. That's a good idea. Just show it to me after the run is done. It's really probably better. Um, uh, dual shields, anything skill. Okay, yeah, you know, explodey corpses. Pretty easy take. Oh, and I was within range of his slam there. <laughs> Whoops. No problem. All right, well, the shotgun's interesting. I don't, I don't mind it necessarily. It might take a little bit to get used to. Uh, all right. What do we got? We got twelve hundred blue, two white, no orange. Apparently, I'm not looking around enough for it. Do probably a damage and a movement speed. Yeah, that's about it. And if anything costs white, right? Which I don't think it... No, oh, that one does. Oh, that's banishing a power. I don't know if I don't care about that right now. I really kind of don't. <laughs> Everything else costs orange. Oh, I hate it. Um, did we unlock the other thing? No, we needed to do something else with the energy rifle. Alright. I mean, I guess we could just 
fine. Just use it so it unlocks this. Three orange! Alright. Here's the chance of getting power-ups with higher rarity by 10%. Okay, I do like that. Um, we need some orange. We need lots of orange. More orange, please. Which I think we're more likely to get that by looking around the map itself, right? Pose while things are not hectic, we should be looking around for the good shit. Ah, uh, rare, rare shot, sure. Oh, okay, that one, I guess that's considered a trap there. Because that actually did damage to me. Oh, plus they are. Also, blow up on proximity, too. Alright. Ice bullets. Well, chance for ice bullets. 20% chance or something? That's not very much. Maybe we can improve that. Shots for your piercing, piercing ice bullets. All right. Four shots. I oh, yeah, that. I guess it does what it says. Definitely pierces. Um, bolt that hit enemies or obstacles release electricity. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much the same as the other bit that was essentially chain lightning, right? I'm into it. More chain lightning is better than less chain lightning, after all. Floaty corpses, and then we'll be talking. Uh, extra bullets, sure. Does that give us four instead of three? It sure does. I guess precision makes a lot more sense with the shotgun weapon, since I think it counts as long as one of my bits hits something, right? Unless I'm really off the mark is probably never not going to happen. Uh, extra homing? Okay. Oh, so now instead of the fourth shotgun bullets, it's now a homing bullet. I get it, I get it, I get it. That's kind of fun, but also a little disappointing. If we had something that made all of our shots homing, I'd be pretty into that. Get all the contra homing up in this bitch. Uh, poison bullets, yeah, alright. Precision stacks actually do. <laughs> I remember what those do. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, here. Um, each stack plus 6% damage. Okay. So we max out an extra 48%. That's pretty good. I'm into that. Ooh. Epic shit here. Alright. Uh, fire bullets as well. Yeah. Give. But eh, whatever. It's fine, I guess. So, homing rear shot. Okay, so that becomes a homing bullet then. Sure. 
to line up our ass covering shot there. Every six shots, fire a burning piercing shot. Okay, so now we've got fire and ice. And I suppose technically lightning, so we've got three of the four elements covered here, right? Assuming there's a fourth element, I guess dark. Kill a frozen enemy, it explodes with area damage for 30%. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Seems good. I guess we don't get an extra white currency for that since we already murdered the first boss on this level several times, right? Uh, and he's hit by electricity, a chance to stun? Yeah, sure. 40% chance ain't that great, but it's, uh, it's something. Two and five. Two and five. Diagonal Blast. 15% chance to fire four bullets diagonally. Now, does that scale with our shotgun fire, so it'll be 12 instead of four? Guess we can find out. Cause that would be fun. No, it's just four. Boo! <laughs> crowd control that chain lightning is doing the, a fair bit of the work there uh, every time you kill an enemy okay there's the explodey corpses I'll crowd control even more I reduce summon time for the crystal bit, so that's gonna be popping off every time now. Okay. Alright, now we're talking. We're putting it out pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's more dark matter stuff, I guess. Bullets get piercing plus one. Yeah. As long as at least one hit counts for our precision bit, I'm okay with that. Simulator drone is fine as well. Too? Sure. Get all of the additional options and buddy bits and shit like that. Hardly have to do anything ourselves. Percent chance for bullets to explode when hitting a burning enemy. Yeah, sure. Okay. Tap there. Two crystal spikes simultaneously. Yeah. Whoop, careful. Uh, 
think it's pretty much toast. There we go. <laughs> Eat shit, idiot. Oh, we got two orange currency from somewhere. I wonder where the fuck I'm getting those from. Not very obvious. I know there's a, a drop on the map sometimes. Destroy the thing and pick it up, but I've not noticed those two. Um, ba 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 ba. Uh, fire rate by 30% when you get hit for 60 seconds. Meh. Uh, each stack we get 3% movement speed. Alright, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> hey, Nifty, how you doing? Good to see ya. It is kind of reminiscent of the, uh, of the smashy titans from Cactus, right? Isn't it? You're not wrong. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. They're trying. They don't exactly jump, though, so, uh, well, there's that, but even so, even so. We need help. Okay, a couple bops in there, it seems. I did not notice. Uh, okay, make our crystal boy even bigger. Sure. Okay, there's the health, but gimme, 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 gimme. Not that I'm terribly worried, considering our damage output is pretty good, but, you know, better to have a little, a little cushion. Uh, every dash at least is a poisoning puddle? Yeah, sure, we haven't been using the <laughs> dash very much at all, really. That'll encourage me to use it more. On account of it gets me uh, out of the way of nasty stuff. Yeah, this boss had no chance. <laughs> Too slow on top of just getting shredded by all the weapons we picked up. Alright, there we go. We unlocked a, a new component. We completed the level. Two orange, which I was hoping for a third orange, but that's fine. Okay, uh, did we unlock? We didn't unlock that one yet. We need to do some other things for that, right? Uh, where's the core here? Yeah, 91%. Oh no, that's not it, is it? Where's the... Oh, here. Uh, here. 6,000 enemies, huh? I guess we haven't eliminated that many. Anyway. Okay. Well, what was the, the component we just unlocked here? What's that? And an extra dash count. And 6% fire rate. Sure. Yeah, give me. It's the only two we got, may as well use them. All right, so now we got two orange. Uh, fire rate, reload time, or healing one hip every two or every ten levels. Huh? This is mostly about dashes and stuff in the next bit. Uh, shield? Natural shield would be all right. Maximum hip, also good. And uh, auto revive, which doesn't seem bad at all either. But you know what? Let's unlock more of the trees, right? So that and decreases special attack cooldown. Nice. I'm into that. Three orange. My goodness. Okay. I do like the cooldown bits there. So let's do two of those. We'll do one of those. We've still got almost 1,100 blue. 
quite a bit. Uh, how about more damage? Can't go wrong with more damage. Now we've still got two white left, though. None of this is usable since we didn't do the thing. Oh, we've got a... God, it takes three orange just to unlock? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. All right, that's fine. Um, any of these cost white? No. Unfortunate. All right, well, we'll save that up a bit then. We've probably got the third level unlocked too. Nice. Okay, I'm into that. I do like the plasma shotgun, so we'll hang on to that for now. Keep using that. So now we're kind of, kind of used to how it works out. Plus, I do like the the grenade secondary or special or whatever. That I do like that a lot. Um, yeah, crystal sphere. You ain't. Cone Blast any good? I guess it was, right? It's just kind of like a rando thing you could pop out and do some extra damage. Maybe not my favorite of things, but it does what it says. Uh, a bunch of common garbo, last shot, sure. That six way. Hexa shot thing just for grims. All right, burning bullets. Do you like adding extra dots, right? Well, plus we picked up an extra dash from somewhere. That was probably a. Uh, Component I just equipped, right? I guess that's nice, but <laughs> if I ever used it like intentionally. Ooh, fear shot, nice, okay. Cover my butt a bit. Oh, I don't know if we can go get that health bit that I just spied from before, right? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Like we never even took a hit. Uh, homing rear shot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Make that actually useful if something's not right behind me. I think should go down like a chump. Okay, it's that doesn't technically count as a boss, I guess. It's there from the very beginning. Um, I do like the dark matter stuff. It's nice. It's a little... AOE just present at random times. Well, I guess not random technically, but very useful. Crystal Spear moves faster, yeah, absolutely. If we get the size increasing one as well, it'll really be something something. Or two of them. Two of them as well is pretty good. Uh, can we do both branches of that, I think? So we can get two of them that are ultra-sized? That would be nice. Be a worthwhile use of... Uh... Worthwhile use of our level-ups, honestly. These crystal boys are doing some work. Uh, everything I'm killing... All okay, yep. Uh, exploded corpse is definitely good. Hey, Drew, how you doing? Just lurking around, man. Come on, say hi when you pop in. I'll at least acknowledge you. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I do like precision. Precision's good. Stacks up nice and easy with our, our shotgun here. Oh, what's that? That is warping in. Oh, it's uh, the monolith thing, boss. Oh, ouch. Get tapped by there. Oh, that... That... Bullet shooting a hole uh, popped in there without me really seeing. Oh, no markers, fun. 
You know, it's very neon, but it's also like very clean and neon, which sometimes is not always guaranteed, right? It's a very clean visual presentation here, which I definitely fucking appreciate. Not too much going on, but enough going on to make things exciting. And, I don't know, it's just a very pleasant aesthetic. Uh, lightning, please. Yeah, there we go. Uh, bullets hit and destroy enemy bullets. Hell yeah. Seems good. Oh, plus there's a... Is that actually pointing to a health thing? That arrow there, or is that... Oh, that's the next, like, uh, obelisk. Which is fine. Which is fine, too. I mean, we don't need health. We've got one more than we strictly require, I suppose. Uh, sure. Simulator drone and uh, thunderous minion. Sure. Didn't even read what that said, but it's fine. Oh, here's one of the orange currency bits. There we go. Spied that one. See that dude popping off mortars there. Uh, piercing burning? Yeah, sure. Oh, excuse me. Well, he's toast. Uh, uh, dark matter orbs do area damage. Ooh. That was a little, a little quick on the mortar he shoots out there, which, you know what? That's fine. It's a little tension going. Gets the blood pumping, you know? That's what we're here for, sort of, I guess. Um, it's faster every time it gets experience? It should work. Okay, now they're sort of learning to put a little more pressure on me. <laughs> There's been walking through too much of the level earlier, and now it's like, oh, two noble markers, all right. Now it's like, nah, man, we gotta, gotta make this dude work for his shit. Utopia 9, I have not played that. In fact, sounds like perhaps something I should put on my list to play then. Ooh, poison bullets, yoink. Oh, oh, able to get out of the way fast enough there. Oh, no! <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Okay, there's a health bit. I'll take that. Uh, experience boost from stuff collected by the minion. Sure. Not that I'm going to go out of my way to have him collect stuff for me, considering things are starting to pop off. Oh, he grabs stuff just out of the blue, that's fine too. We haven't already dealt with two of them. I'm sure we can murder a third just the same here. That's our damage 
dunk, but it's pretty good now, or this chump isn't gonna be around for very long, is he? Ooh, a legendary space to be 20% damage boost, hell yeah. Fucking give immediately. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Fucking jump. Tiny basic bitch mobs to murder now, so I like nothing too uh, stressful. Burst bullets increased from three to four. Oh, so does that give me an extra shoddy bullet, pretty much? Yeah, sure, give me. Uh, yeah, I guess, <laughs> technically speaking. Hard to say. There's uh, a lot of bullets coming out my front there whenever I fire. percent chance to explode on burning enemies. Yeah, sure, all right. Let's say no to more explosions. Ooh, took a tap from something. Not exactly what, though. Ah, okay, so now we can face the actual boss of this area. Took out the three fire obelisks, I guess. Now it's just like, yeah, now you're ready to, to do the real work, huh? Cosmic rain, reduce space debris time. Nice, okay. Seven seconds to five seconds, was it? It's pretty good, considering. such that we're not really in any danger of being caught without some manner of damage output here. There. <laughs> Alright, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Plus we got additional components, now we can uh, go back to the three component boost instead of the two. Probably be a better use of our stuff here, right? Uh, where was that? Here. It's here. Enhance the installed components level by two. Yeah, no, let's do the normal bit so that we can plug in our, our next thing. What is this? 2% critical chance. Yeah, give. We've got enough blue to up these as well. Uh, we'll think about it. We got three orange. Which, okay, there's the rarity of fire. Give me. And then also give me again. 20%. 45%. Fucking 70%. 100%, baby. All right, I'm into that. Or increases the chance of getting legendary power-ups by 200%. Fuck, that's pretty good, too. We'll leave it as is, though. Pretty much exhausted our, all of our currencies. Because nothing is going to be 300 blue, is it? Yeah, cheapest thing is 550 blue. Ha <laughs> ha Ain't happening. Okay, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. all that's installed. No currency for that. That's fine. All right, uh... Technically, we didn't complete Relic Forest, really? I thought we literally just did that. 
<laughs> Alright, whatever. Well, let's pop back the Scarlet Nightfall then and go... I don't know, one across the board seems fine? Or maybe we just need to do one, right? Okay, so it's definitely taking the Hades bend to this where... Yeah, you only need to do one of the difficulty boosting things, and then two, and then three, etc, 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 right? So, yeah, more swarm seems fine. It's more XP, more shit. Um, oh, plus we've got the other... Alright, hold on a second, back out, let's go to the core. Now we can unlock some of this stuff. Oh, if we had more white currency, but we do not, so... That's a big ol' nope, I guess. Go back to the... The basic bitch bullets here for a bit. And then do... Oh, I don't know. Oh, we can't... Oh, I see. Wait, what? Okay, these completion percentages are a bit confusing. Because apparently I've got Scarlet Nightfall unlocked for... Uh, the plasma shoddy, but not the the basic bitch energy rifle. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's weird. But okay, all right, fine. Who might argue? Not uh, extremely clearly communicated there, but that's fine. Okay, so they definitely are. Bigger groups at the start here, and yeah, okay, rarity should be a lot more frequent. Um, a tentacle every six seconds attacks nearby enemies. It's very, uh, 20 minutes till dawn. Which, you know, not bad. That's a good game too, frankly, but... See how some of these games l learn and incorporate from each other. Also, good, not complaining. Epic lightning blast. Yeah, right. Suppose, strictly speaking, we're not on a fixed time, right? Or Vampire Survivors was, you know, 30 minutes or 20 minutes per level. It, as quickly as we can complete the objectives here. Uh, an additional rear shot, sure. Considering our shotgun is putting out enough damage to myrtleize a, a basic bitch here, it's pretty good. Uh, Crystal Spear, I do like, yeah. What I should be looking around for is uh, the orange currency. That seems to be the one I'm most frequently not having on hand. Take the highest rarity stuff as it appears. Regardless of whether it meshes with our build very well. Kind of being able to take on whatever is uh, approaching us really at any given time. Disc things. Okay, there's an orange currency up there. Yoink. Oh, plus we picked up another one from something. <laughs> I don't remember getting that. and that spawns a, a boss of sorts. 
Whoa! Oh, and then I backed my butt into a bullet. <laughs> mm. Backed into a bullet because I'm an idiot. That's alright. Let's do a quick restart of that. That deeply into that run anyways. I think we keep the currency we earned, at least, so that's fine. And shit now. Markers, though. All right. More booms better than less booms, right? More bullets. Never not more bullets. Precision, uh, probably. Easier to stack up when there's more stuff going out the door. Homing. Last shot. What is that? An extra shot there? That's pretty good. Each precision stack, 3% movement speed. Yeah, sure, all right. Gotta go fast, after all. Bullets fired after your last round are homing bullets. Oh, shit. Oh, because now we've got the... Little hexa shot thing, so now all six of those are homing. That's fucking good. Alright. Into it. Picked up another orange currency from somewhere. It's a mystery sometimes where those come from. I'm guessing I'm destroying certain enemies, or maybe something on the map is doing that too. Ow. Okay. Maybe not take down that damage like that, huh? Big boy crystals. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ow. Take a tap from there. Uh, cone blast? Oh, yeah, okay.
ice bullets. 20% chance of ice bullets. Chain lightning, or is that guaranteed chain lightning? I don't remember which one that was. Okay, exploding corpses, hell yeah. And there's our 6,000 kill with the plasma shotty, so now we can upgrade it, I guess? Right? Sending a few more big boys at a time here. So that tracks with the what the 35% boost in, in swarm or whatever I turned on, right? by something. <laughs> I didn't even see what the fuck that was. Ah, well. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's spend what we got. I did get a bit of a late start tonight, and I'm getting a little tired here. So we might call it an early evening after we do our upgrades here. So what can we actually do with this? Three seconds after reloading, bullets may deal critical damage. Nice. 10% crit chance. Explosion range of the plasma bomb. That's pretty good. Or increase the number of fired bolts, which we can't do yet. We have to do something else to unlock that, I guess. All right. Still, not bad. All right, what about our normal upgrade tree here? Okay, now let's get that going. Get these unlocked. At the very least, right? Oh, two orange now. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, more dash. Oh, shit. Should have done this one first. That was three orange. More bullets per mag there. Damn it. Alright, well, special cooldown is pretty good, too. Fire rate's not bad. Oh, and we're pretty much out of stuff now. Alright, anything one orange? Okay, there's one orange. <laughs> Very efficient use of our currency. We've got less than 200 blue, so that's not gonna... That ain't gonna do shit. Got enough for nothing there. But all right, okay, we're, we're gonna call it a little bit early tonight. Um, I do like Core Devourer though, this is nice. This is fun, very clean visual style. Enjoyable enough uh, gameplay loop. I mean, it's a survivor's like horde shooter, what do you want, right? But very cool, very fun. Definitely meant for repeat plays. So we will resume this next week. Um, next stream, however, will be tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club some more sop with or uh ginga force is on tap as well and radiant silver gun is still there too uh friday saturday we're off then sunday 7 p.m cdt be long play so more noita i uh, look forward to that and then next monday 7 p.m cdt we'll be back here with more core devourer very fun game so far enjoying myself all right that'll do for tonight thanks for watching everybody see you tomorrow Bye bye